Chocolate Elimination Competition. Today, the reigning champion of Pasha from Peru is going to go up against Baker's from Canada. Let's go ahead and taste the Baker's chocolate first. As always, the contender has to show their stuff first. And then we will try Pasha's. Wow, that was kind of hard to break. It is very thick. There we go. Sweet. It has a nice flavor. It does rely on vanilla, which, you know, I get it. People like vanilla. And having vanilla in lots of products makes the price go down. Because traditionally it's a, it's an expensive product. Um, but yeah, okay, so let me clear my palate, hold on. Pasha, see how it, see how we feel about it. You know, it's interesting, pasta's only got three pro um, ingredients in it, and yet it produces a much more complex flavor than the bakers and the other ones that I've tried so far. Um, it has a fruity overtone to it, and there are hints of other flavors in there as well. It's really nice, and I think, I, I wonder actually, if there are any chocolate experts out there, I mean literally you're experts in, in the process of making it, is is the fact that they're making it near where the chocolate is actually grown, does that actually have a huge impact on the potential quality and flavor of the chocolate? Now, I'm sure, you know, again, you can argue about quality being a matter of the decisions made by the company, but um, if time causes the chocolate to degrade or if the chocolate is mixed with other chocolates, then then you lose something. So um, if you know, just let me know. Um, I'm going to say that once again, Pasha is the clear champion in this round. Um, there really isn't anything for me to argue about here. Uh, not to say this isn't a nice chocolate. It is. It's a very nice chocolate. Um, it's just that it does not have the nuances that the Pasha 55% has. So you got to go with what's right. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for round 22 of the great Chocolate Elimination Competition. Have a wonderful day.